Hello. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> he laughed back. <laughs> oh, I don't like this already. It's kind of dark. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, Grojan here, and today we're going to be playing a game called April 24th. This is a VHS kind of graphic game. So, it does say on the Steam page that it's aimed at slightly older audiences, and it also says the average gameplay is about 40 minutes long, so we'll do this in one episode, and we'll see how it goes. But this already looks kind of creepy. We got like what looks like a baby or a little child on a chair wriggling around and it, it doesn't look good. So we're going to start a new game and see how we get on. Chapter 1, The Wicked. Right, so we have woke up in... It uh, looks like a, a cell or a prison or a bedroom. I don't actually know. We've got a clock. It's 1.15 in the afternoon. We've got a cross on the wall. We've got some creepy noises behind us already. We got an axe, but we can't pick it up, I don't think. We can kind of zoom in if we hold E. Can we turn the TV on? No. Okay, so we, all we've got right now is a lighter. And some creepy noises. Some creepy noises. It's kind of dark. And it looks like we are going to go... I was going to say we're going to go upstairs, but let's have a little look down here first, just in case there's anything. It doesn't seem like we can run. What the hell is that noise? It's like something whispering at us. Oh, I don't like this already. Don't like this already. Let's go upstairs. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I guess we're going to be going. That way, how do we open the door? Well, I can't, I can't. So it looks like we're going back downstairs. Is this still a little lit up over here? Oh, he's still there. Oh, are you giving us the axe? She shouldn't have done that in your bed. <laughs> shouldn't have done what? <laughs> she deserves to be punished. I can hear someone panting. Dear Ben, you've been living in the basement for months and haven't come out. You're going crazy and dragging us along. The kids and I don't understand what's going on with you. You've become aggressive and, and you're taking out all of your anger on us. Alice is sick. It's hard for her to live in such an environment. And Jacob is still too young and I don't want him to get hurt. Know that we have to get... Know that we have the right to live without you. I tried to discuss everything with you in a normal setting, but you don't make contact. I just want you to know that we have someone who will take care of us all. All you have to do is let us go. Let us do this. Sincerely, Evelyn. Chapter 2, April 24th, 1991. So is it the same day? So we've got an axe. We're looking through our like, little video camera, aren't we? It's so dark. You okay? <laughs> He's pointing us up the stairs. <laughs> right, let's go. we got to chop the door down. No, no, we can open it this time. We can open it this time. Can't do that one. There's like a medicine cabinet to our left. Some books up there. There's a fire in that room. Let's check this one out first. There's a few dinner plates. Looks like no one's having any food though. Nothing else in here. It's kind of creepy, isn't it? It's kind of creepy. If you're watching this on your phone or anything, you might want to have the contrast on high so you can see. So you can see, because I can only just see. And I'm playing on the computer, aren't I? So... It's unbelievably slow. He's telling us where to go. He wants us to kill someone, doesn't he? He wants us to kill our wife, I think. This way? No. Next one. The one where the music box is playing. We can't get in there, but it sounds like the kids' room. We can hear the baby sneezing. <laughs> There's so many rattly noises and stuff. Pills on the side. This door is open. Got a sofa, a door. Oh, we can go outside. Oh no, it's not outside, it's just another room. <laughs> Door's opening so slow. My name is Sean Miller. I'm conducting a journalistic investigation of a brutal murder on the outskirts of the city that occurred on April 24th. I want to find out what the true cause of this crime and find answers to all questions. 
Chapter 3 Observer We've got a video tape. Can we press play? Doesn't look like. Okay, so we are in another little room. Doesn't look like our video plays though. It says standby. Zero, 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 zero. And we can't press anything on the telly. Alright, let's see what's in the room. Doesn't look like anything, but this is... Oh, are we investigating the crime scene though? There's loads of video tapes and stuff in here. Oh, we can look in there at the newspaper. On April 24th, a brutal murder took place in a house on the outskirts of the city. A man killed his entire family with an axe. The accused himself called the police and was arrested on the spot. The man testifies and says that he was influenced by a certain man in a hat and that he forced him to commit this crime. The police have no further comments. We will monitor developments in that case. What have we got to do in this room? Oh, there, 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 there. A videotape. Pieces of me. We'll take you. See if we can put it in there. There we can. Insert you into this. Ready? Play the tape. Chapter 4, Pieces of Me. Chapters are going back by quite fast, aren't they? Okay, so this is back to the guy at the start. Can we not burn the things or we tied it up? I don't know. We haven't got an axe this time, though. Okay, we're going in the room. There's a skull on the floor with a hammer and some nails. Oh, my word. Need to look for a knife. Okay, so we need a knife. Oh, look at them. <laughs> We've got to find a knife to get out. To get out. I'm wondering if one of them toys has got the knife. Oh, there's the knife. Yeah, we don't want to open that. We don't want to open that, though. Come on, hurry up and open it. You're going so slow and there's something banging on that next doorway. Just get a move on. Alright, next room. We've got a... I thought that was a hole in the wall for a second. <laughs> Nothing there to do. Let's go. The voices. The voices are nasty. Right, this door is boarded up. We've got a crucifix on the door as well. Looks like we are going upstairs. Oh, well, Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, the noise is so loud. He's gone. He's gone. The baby's gone. Uh, do we want to move a chair out? It's been locked up for a reason. But that one's padlocked, so we got nowhere else to go. Okay, let's move the chair. You just know that one weren't too bad. That weren't too bad. And clicked pretty much. We got a crowbar. We got a crowbar. Is this so? Oh, this is going to be take the wood off that door downstairs. <laughs> God's sake. Damn it. <laughs> Unless we can use it on this, I don't think we can. No, let's go downstairs. Something's growling at us. The cross has just fell upside down. Oh, you are messing. Why are we doing this one? Why are we doing this one? <laughs> uh, don't like this. Don't like this. So it's quarter past three in the morning. We're in a kitchen. We've got a door propped up. There's crucifixes everywhere. I knew there was going to be someone there then. Can they kill us? That nah, weren't bad. That weren't bad. She weren't that scary. Right, so this doesn't look like there's anything in that room. But there was the other room too, right? Oh, we can't go through there no more. Can't go through there no more, so it's got to be something in that kitchen. I have to go back in here. <laughs> that one's locked anyway. Oh, we got a safe. We can't... Oh, there's a key. She's left us a key. 
Sounds like someone just shut the door anyway. Through the door we go. There's been quite a few jump scares in this game, hasn't it? I mean, we're not far in. We're not very far in. It's scared the bejeebas out of us already. Why have we got a coffin in the living room? Oh, what was that? Was that... Something's going to pop out of that. I know it. I know it. Hang on. Did that room change? We can't get out. We can't get out. What have we got to find in here? What have we got to find? The singing coming from the coffin. I can see something in there. Can we open this? There's a phone ringing. Where? Oh, we can open the door now. Don't like that noise. Don't like that noise. Well, open the door. Oh, my God. We got a phone ringing and we can't get out. And the room keeps changing. There we go. The phone is here. No one there. What's this? Something on the shelves. There's a couple of boxes. There's some stuff on the middle. Which, which room was this in? I don't think it was this one. Can't go through there. I doubt we can go back through that way. <laughs> you watching us, are you? Oh God! <laughs> She's sitting down on a chair. Like this is the thing that we were just looking at. Chair stand round. I don't know what we just got that for. I don't want to send me back on it. <laughs> Oh, the door. oh, this is our bedroom again. This is where we started in the first bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, upstairs we go. There's something else moving down there. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. We're going to open this coffin, aren't we? And something's going to jump out and scare the shit out of me. Oh, it's already open. When you jump out, we're not scared of you. Tie the ropes to the doors. Okay, so we're locking ourselves in, are we? Oh, we're we locking you in. So creepy. Is that the door we just tied up? I think it is, you know. It's locked from both sides now. So that door is locked. She's going to be disappeared out of there soon, isn't she? And chasing us. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> that went too bad. Is that the girl in the coffin? Close up. Close and board up the coffin. There we go, we've done that. We need to find the cross and put it on the coffin. There was a... Oh, where did we see the cross? Where did we see the cross? Was it on the chair in the other room? I thought there was one on there. I thought there was one on there. There's something on top of the safe, though. Like, that might tell us where it is. We need to find a bookshelf. We need the bookshelf. It's going to be back down in the basement, isn't it? No, no, it's not. Good, good, good. Ah, there it is. The safe. 
Oh, the safe is open. Oh, Jesus. Here's our cross. Hello. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> he laughed back. Let's <laughs> uh. get the cross on there before anyone else. You're gonna die. We're gonna die. <laughs> enough to wake the dead that one chapter five the touch of evil <sighs> so he's just watched us do that right we've already read the newspaper there's a cross on the door up there he's boarded himself in we need to find another tape Need to lock the door with a chair. Okay. Oh, we got a hammer as well, so... Where did you come from? This, co this policeman or detective or whatever, he's going to end up being as, as nuts as us by the time this is all over with. Right, I don't know whether there's another tape. Oh, there's the other tape. Proof of death. Put this in. Insert. We're going to go and see what goes on in the next section. Chapter 6. Proof of death. Oh, that's a mess. That is messy. There's one and three, but where's number two? Oh, number four. Five. Where's number two? Number two is over there. Okay. Are we going to investigate this stuff, maybe? Or oh, no? I don't know. Oh, no, because we're the bad guy now, aren't we? <laughs> well, I say we're the bad guy, right? I think um, stuff has just gone really bad in his life. But he can't get out of there. We don't seem to be able to get out of any of the rooms. There must be something in here that we've got to find. Bugs and everything. Oh, there's rats. What do we need to click on? There's got to be a way out of this room, right? Surely. That's got all boxes and stuff around the back of it, so that's definitely not opening. Oh, that's locked with a chain. We need to... Uh, we need something to open that with, maybe? There's a rat inside his body. Okay, we need a pair of bolt cutters or something just so we can get out of here. What's that, number seven? A saw. Hey, we found it. Okay, so we can use that saw to get the chain off the door. Here's a little... Creepy baby. We just slammed the door to make the baby shit itself. If that one's got a lock on it too, I need a key. Okay, so we've got to find a key. That door's locked. Should we check upstairs first? Crime scene, do not enter. It looks like we're taking the tape off. But I can't open this. I can open this with a bolt cutter. I told you we needed a bolt cutter. Well, we're going to go downstairs anyway. Rip off the crime scene stuff. Not in this one. Right, can we open the safe? Need to find the password. And a little bit puzzly now, isn't it? Well, we can't get through there. We need a number for that. Okay, so we need a password, a number. <gasps> 3C? 3C wouldn't just be the password, would it? Three C five D. Three C five oh. Three. Oh, we got three D. Three A. Three B. Three B. Three D. Three. What? Three C five D. 
3B, 5D, 3B, 3B, 5D, 3C. So we see that, mate. Can you point us to the next one? There's a crowbar on the floor by that as well. So it must be further back this way. Oh, 4A. 4335 is the one. 4335 is the right code. 4335. There we go. Safe it is open. Don't like that noise. Don't like that noise. Dear Ben, I can't live like this anymore. I want to get a divorce and sell the house. My torment has become unbearable and I need freedom. Please give me the opportunity to start a new chapter in my life. Sincerely, Evelyn. Are you putting that? Oh, a key in your mouth. Where does the key go? It's got to be a room upstairs, right? Because that one's locked. Uh, I just want to... Oh, he's got an axe as well. Not this one. This is the one. Oh, yeah, I forgot this needed the key. Uh. Nothing in this room by the looks of it. The door we can open. Just waiting for stuff to jump out on me. Feels like it happens a lot. More crime scene places. We've ripped that one off. We've ripped that one off. Let's get in. Oh, look at that. More rats. There's something behind the door. Need to find something to open it with. Well, we did see a crowbar before, didn't we? But I don't know where it was. But we've got to find one again, by the looks of things. There's a letter. Dear Diary, Mum and Dad were fighting against A. If it wasn't such a burden, I could help them with little Jacob. It requires a lot of attention and I give them a lot of trouble. It hurts me so much to look at them and see how they suffer because of me and Jacob. If I hadn't been there, my parents would have been much happier. They wouldn't have had to worry about my health. I feel useless and unnecessary and I would like to be the best daughter for them, Alice. That's sad that she thinks that all the problems were because of her when there's, there's, there's issues in this house that are far from being the kids' fault. Ah, there's the bolt cutters. I'm not actually sure bolt cutters are what we needed. Oh, we've already looked at you. We've already looked at you. Right, they're not what we're going to open that with, but I think we're going to use them to open something else down this passageway and then come back. <laughs> oh, God's sake. Right, was there anything down here that we could use bolt cutters on? It's not good, not good at all. I feel like this is where we're supposed to go. There we go. We've got bolt cutters for this door. And behind this door, there was the thing. There was the crowbar on the floor. And we've got to make it back to that other door without having a hard stack from all these jumps. <laughs> it's been horrendous, isn't it? Hello. He's weird. He's weird. Don't follow us. Oh, what have I just stood on? Oh. That gave me goosebumps, that one. Right, so open the door. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> so what do we need to use the axe on? I can just hear squeaking noises and doors opening and stuff, and it's not even nice. Right, I think this was the first room we came out of, wasn't it? Ah. <clears throat> oh, there's the policeman watching the tape. He's just watched us going into the room behind him, has he? I don't know. But there's another tape there. There's no way out. It's time to make... It's your turn to make a movie. <laughs> right. 
But we can't put that in there. I'm struggling to see. Every time we come into this little room, like, oh, we got to move the chair out the way. We can't open it, though. We need a pair of bolt cutters or something. Have we got a light? We don't. We need a way out of this room. Oh, is the baby pointing? Oh, there it is. Where did that baby come from? I didn't remember seeing him before. Just heard the footsteps running away. Let's get out. Oh, and another one. Oh, you messed it. <laughs> Oh, it's a, a rope. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that, there's more doors. Do it. Um. <gasps> <laughs> Don't like this. You zoom in, but it goes all blurry. What are we meant to do here? Oh, is that, is that a handle? No. Why's the baby looking that way? <laughs> Finish your movie. For real? Are we gonna go and do that? We have. And where's the investigator? At the end? At the end of the game? You know what? That wasn't bad. It was, um... It was jumpy, it was jumpy. There wasn't a lot to it, but it wasn't bad, it was good. Uh, but yeah, that is where we are going to finish off. I hope you're all enjoying the new games that we're playing on the channel. Really having loads of fun and being a bit scared as well at the same time. But I want to say thank you to everyone who keeps coming back and watching the videos. It really does mean a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. I want to say a massive thank you to all the people who signed up on the Patreon and joined as members. It really does mean a lot. Thank you so much. And we will see you all in the next one. Thanks everyone. Bye.